Hi guys, welcome to review of Healer. Uh, wait, is that the wrong picture? Hey, no, it's actually how the show is. Ah, man, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's talk about review of Healer, a very uh, controversial anime. Um, what's what's the plot about? What is the plot about? Yeah. Ho ho! Is it about Daria or something? It's uh, it's basically a revenge uh, plot. If you like revenge stories, this is the show for you. I and also, if you like porn, and let's start. Let's start with our MC, right? Okay. This guy, he gets raped. He gets tortured. All sorts of nasty shit happens. There's like this big ass gay dude who's like, man, he messes him up, right? Like he actually ends up getting the philosopher's stone, and then he's able to go to another life and relive it again and he still has his old memories yeah. so now he's like oh shit i'm gonna fucking take my revenge so if you like that sort of thing you're gonna love it i i loved it by the way so yeah that that's pretty much a quick synopsis uh i know you think it's a big pile of doo-doo right what, what, yeah. what? ah what can i say um let me try to be as nice and diplomatic <laughs> as possible. This is a stinky pie of diarrhea of the show. So basically to me, it's like a hentai show trying to have a plot. I honestly question like how much darkness and anger someone must hold in his heart in order to be a derived pleasure from watching this. Hey, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> You love the darkness, right? I loved every second of it. So to me, it's a hard, it's a joke for me to see interspecies uh, getting canceled while seeing the show uh, selling like hot cakes. I don't even know if the dude is straight or like he just enjoy having all the male ravaging his poopy hole for the second time. So oh. much that, so much that he wanted the, the same things to be done for the second time. It's like I don't get it. But oh, it's of course it's all for the sake of revenge. It's like the only time that I got a slight chuckle is when you know like the the lesbian chick like sought to uh, touch his bulge and then and then she realized that and then she realized that she just got trapped. Oh, what's this? It's a penis. <laughs> That's like the only time that I actually I love that. You know. Yeah, this is the, the only time that I got a, a slight chuckle. So for me, uh, obviously, oh. I give it a 1 over 10. To be honest, I would give it a 0 if I could. Oh, wow. oh wait. Uh, actually, let me give it a 0. How about that? All right, so how do how you like the show? All right, this guy gives it a 0. I'll give it a 10. All right. 10 out of 10 for completely destroying any type of generic shit that's out there. <laughs> if you ever like, a, if hey, you ever wanted this, the wait, wait. MC to, if you ever wanted the MC to, to have, a, you know, to kill the bad guy, if you don't want to see him, just put him in jail or put, you know, give him a little slap on the wrist <laughs> or maybe punch him a couple of times and say, all right, you're good. Maybe you can come back in the next season and fuck shit up again. This MC doesn't do that shit, all right? <laughs> he will fucking kill him. And another thing that I like about this story is that he, many times you are questioning whether he's a villain or a hero. That's my point. Like, you know? what, what is This he? is not something generic. This is not something you see. And so when, when you see something like this, and it challenges your, your way of, of processing the story. I think that to me is gold. I, I felt like it was like this diamond, you know, you may call it a shit. To me, it's a diamond. Diamond in the it's shit. It's a diamond in the rough, you know, <laughs> waiting for you to discover it. If you want to see some gritty shit that will challenge your morals and your ethics and all that stuff, if you're willing to leave that behind and get a little dirt, <laughs> you're going to really enjoy this one. Oh, I tell you. This is a little bit more personal, you know? You got fucked in the ass, so what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> right. Are you just gonna let the guy just sit there and do nothing? Wow. Are, are, you, gonna, are you gonna put him in jail? Or yeah. are you gonna give him a good fuck too? <laughs> you know? Right? <laughs> well, what he can do is... So you see how sadistic that is? <laughs> if you're kind of fucking weird and crazy like me, uh, you might like this, you know? Yeah, right? <laughs> if you have, like, darkness in your heart, if you're the type it, it of, takes, like, yes. uh, petty petty type of person uh <laughs> instead of into, like if you're into revenge yeah you're gonna fucking love this yeah. man you're gonna love because this. like his other option is that he could you know uh get another life he could enjoy himself lead you know but there's no life. story no one wants to see that well right, right? <laughs> well yeah that's that's precisely you know right. no one's gonna write about exactly it, right that, well that's what he could do <laughs> but obviously or somebody could write about it and they, the guy he can find a way to put him in jail for a hundred years but who wants to see that? They exactly. make that all the time. Yeah. They make that all the time. Well, I guess, this yeah. This is different. Something different, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It is something different. Um, <laughs> well, it, well, it would be different if not for the fact that it's, it's already been done before by Shubra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, totally. um, 
But you know what I'm saying? It's it's ten percent. Yeah. Out of everything that's out there, it's, it's yeah, it's, a it's a minority. Part, it's a minority. No, but that you don't see often. But I know? think no, actually, well, yeah, you're right in saying that it's ten percent. But the thing is, I feel like the ten percent is growing. Mm -hmm. Oh, because yeah, yeah, nowadays yeah. I do see there's a trend of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of I guess people are getting tired of you know, yeah, same, someone like me. Thing. Yeah, I'm getting tired so of that. So there's a certain trend of this this yes. type of revenge story starting getting more absolutely, popular. Absolutely. So that twenty percent, that ten percent can become twenty percent. Who knows? No, yeah, totally. And, and this is a trend I favor. Yeah. You know, I, I want to find things that are a little bit different than than the generic shit. Yeah. You know. Um, so yeah, for that reason, I, I I give it a very high score. I give it a ten. The story is a 10. Uh, so let's move on to characters. Uh, what do you think of the characters? Okay. Yeah, so uh, for characters, uh, I guess this is unexpected, but I like no one. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like I feel like the main character, he tries so hard to mm -hmm. to be smart, mm -hmm. but to me, he's dumb but on a rock with his lack of foresight and planning. Like, what does he expect when he, you know, like what does he, ex he expect to happen after kidnapping a princess of a country? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> and then he was like then he was uh, like all shocked and angry when you know his sister or parental figure or whatever got mm -hmm. raped by the captain mm -hmm. like duh <laughs> that's what happened boy <laughs> you know like the, the you know that captain the same guy whom he <laughs> left alive ah <laughs> uh, so um so for me man short uh characters is a 10 without oh. a one ah get out of here man i thought you were gonna give me a 10. <laughs> I give the characters a 10. All right. Because Tell me why? Because you don't see characters like this all the time. Yeah. Like, like we mentioned, it's like 10% of what's out there, right? Exactly. This, this to me, I, I cannot, I cannot, I don't think I can describe how f refreshing this is to me. To see an entire story of a fucking guy who you don't know whether he's a he's a good guy or a bad guy. Well, and he's that, a bad guy, man. Obviously, he's a bad well, guy. You, well, you can debate that, right? <laughs> because you can think about the larger bigger things that are going on within the kingdom yeah he may be doing good but he's doing it through just his own motivation of revenge would you say it's kind of like a harem as well because he's like collecting like all these chicks oh it's right? like pokemon got like catch them all he is like kind of collecting like these chicks that he gets to have like relations with you know yeah mm -hmm. he he's a manipulator yeah. and he finds like the one thing that this one girl has like some sort of weakness to, mm -hmm. and he completely like yeah. uses that to his advantage to gain favor within them. And I think that's kind of creative. I'm like, oh, okay. Like yeah. it's, it's not that dull the way he like seems to be collecting every one of them. He's fucking like, he's crazy. He's got a crazy fucking head. And that's yeah. what I love about him. Uh, and so for that reason, I just, I, again, I have to give it high marks. I give it a 10. Okay. For, uh, yeah, for craziness. All right, let's move on to uh, the animation. What do you think of the animation? So, to me, it's actually the most decent aspect of the show. Oh, wow. But then again, it's not, it's really nothing <laughs> to... the opposite uh, with me. <laughs> but, then, but, you know, it's not really to say much, you know, when the, <laughs> the character and story are like zero to begin with. So, like, how, how can you do even worse than zero? So, so, yeah, so for me, it's just average art, nothing to write home about, especially mm -hmm. the, the last couple episodes where the quality actually even suffered even more mm -hmm. than usual. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so it's 5 over 10. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, this is like, to me, this is probably the weakest out of the bunch. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wish, like, the art would have been so much better for this. It, it's still good considering, like, Considering the the subject matter and everything, right? They took a, a chance on this thing. Well, you know, uh, like right? they censor pretty much everything. Every time there's like a sex scene. Oh, I didn't. I, didn't, I saw the uncensored <laughs> version, man. Uh, some of the some of the angles for like some of the edgy stuff was pretty good. I, li yeah. I like the angles, you know, that they were yeah. looking at. I'm gonna give it an upward bias. I give okay. it a nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, what about the music? What did you think about the music? Probably better than the character and the story. Mm -hmm. uh, that is zero. So, like I said, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> how, how can you do even worse than zero? That's, that's, not, that's not possible. <laughs> All right, cool. Not bad. Uh, I give the music a 10 out of 10. Okay. You know what? <laughs> There's fucking metal in there. You put some metal in there, along with some orchestral type of fusion, I'll give it a 10. Uh, overall. All right. What'd you think? You're saying it's a, it's a piece of shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like someone trying to see if he can make like a worse mess than Shoe Bro. 
basically it's like pretty much a contest at this point to see who can come up with with the worst story about a bitter loser uh, main characters <laughs> so if that's a hentai show i think i would like it better because uh, I, th i feel like it's like half hentai half trying to have a like a hentai trying to have a plot mm. so uh my overall score um like a positive a positive to this guy like he give an upward i give it a downward bias, downward bias. so instead of like a five you know something I would give a zero over ten total. Mm. I mean, he, this guy was trying to look for uh, uh, pixelated diarrhea. So you're being nice over here, man. Yeah, this guy's being nice. Uh, well, you already know how I feel about this. I give it a ten out of ten <laughs> because it's it's gonna completely destroy your expectations of what yeah. what a story is. Yeah, it's you've gonna... probably seen you probably never see. I'm telling you, most of the average people have never seen a story like this. Yeah, I guess. And yeah. if you're if you're someone who kind of craves for something fresh, this is going to destroy you. It's going to destroy your head and your mind, your and morals, your, balls. your morals, your, your ethics, them, you know? your thoughts. You're going to be <laughs> completely engaged. You're going to fucking dig this. Watch this and uh, don't complain. Don't come back and be upset, all right? <laughs> if you like it, yeah, come back and be like, all right, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Uh, but my recommendation, watch it. Okay. Don't even think it's that. Don't don't look at this. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So that uh, was our my review, recommendation uh, yeah. is do not watch it. <laughs> so hey, it's up to you. <laughs> up to you who you're gonna listen to. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next see time. You there, everybody.